Hello YouTube. Um, this is my 1998 BMW E39 540, and uh, I wanted to show y'all something. I don't say what to do on here. I don't know if y'all can tell already. These are F10 BMW M5 seats from a 2013, 2014, not really sure. Um, they are fully functional. I broke the piece that was here, but I'll move forward. Let me my button. Can move forward and backwards. And as you can see, yes, we are on 839 controls and um, we are on E39 rails I still haven't modified it to where the way it won't rub here which is why I haven't put this back but that's besides the point uh, everything moves head res, it moves back it moves back and uh, I have the uh, contour which goes from that side I don't know if y'all can see but it moves it's fully functional along with the uh, with the headrest and most as well everything's connected to memory so the memory works with the steering wheel and the buttons on the, on the door the heating works as well but after maybe 30 minutes of it working it shuts off so I'm not really sure I'm gonna go show you on the passenger side a little bit better on how it is sitting on the rails. All right, so this is the passenger side. I was able to zoom out a little bit. This is the passenger side, and I haven't put the plastic piece back on here. So the way it's welded, these are the F10 mount, mounting brackets, or the mounting points of the original rail. And it's welded onto the top of where the other seat used to mount, the original seat for the E39. This is the E39 rails on both of them, so I got fully functional slides back. And um, so I'm not a welder. I had to buy a welder to do this project. So it, it's holding okay. um, this one as well. Uh, it's sitting on the original F10 mounting point and it's welded here as well. So it's in the back and in the inside. So they're not pretty welds, but they're there. This are the seats. This goes to the E39 rail, it screws to the same place. Um, uh, this seat, you see, it goes, um, and go. oh wait, this is for the headrest, you can see they're fully functional. And the seat comes forward and back, this is the passenger side, on here braces up and goes down with it and of course it moves backwards and forwards and uh, I don't have the other button to show you the contour but you'll, you'll get the idea and um, yes the only thing that does not work on here is the uh, inflatable padding that goes here um, let me raise the seat up show you in the back a little bit I got some other wires still showing so y'all can see here we are under the seat <laughs> and uh, here's where I got most of the wires hooked up and um, this is hooked up to the E39 harness essentially what I did was I um, cut the harness for the motors that were going to the seat to the E39 seat just the uh, harness leaving the plug kind of like this so this would be positive and negative and then I found the cables that would go to the original motors on the F10 seat so they were going straight that way bypassing the whole seat module and all that stuff this is the other mounting bracket is welded here at this point and another point in the inside as well um, and yeah they're really comfortable seats People say that it's too big for this car and this one's lifted up but I think they go well. Let me bring the 
chassis. So this is how the seats look. Um, they're not much bigger. I mean, just a little bit. They do not rub in the side pillar. We got enough space right here. They don't rub here either or down here in the middle. They are centered. Um, I haven't put the trim piss here, but uh, they do not hit the top either. They clear the roof just fine. And um, yeah, I think they go well with this car. Like I said this is a '98. see them in there but yeah, I'm changing the interior to black on this car changing the top um, I already got the back black fabric everything's going black um and i'm not sure what i'm doing with this probably gonna dye it black but i don't know all that's gonna be black that's why it's the way it is because i try to dye the original seats that were here so and this opportunity came up and everybody said that you couldn't do it Came out of an M5. Fully functional. Driver's side with memory. And passenger side doesn't have memory, but it works fully functional as well. And the seat belt. The seat belt works too. The light goes away. When you back up the seat, this goes up and back forward. Just as the original seat did. Yeah, I don't have a write-up on it. If uh, people are interested on it, um, more on this, then I might do a write-up. I do have some videos of when I first was doing it. Um, but yeah, they're really comfortable, and to me, they were worth it. I think they're pretty good seats. Again, this uh, this is a '98, a '98 and five, um, 540. Not a bad little car. This car was actually $700 when I first got it. 